I loved Valentino. I love the way they mix that very puritanical element that the two designers have brought into the house. I think on any lesser designer's runway, they would be considered couture, but that's not couture for them. They had these amazing couture shows that they do, but I mean, it was so well done that for any other designer, you would think that's couture. It's just fantastic what they do. The house is always putting the finger on the pulse for that very beautiful woman that loves something incredibly refined, beautiful couture-like finishes. And this is the really interesting thing. We're talking ready-to-wear here. They're giving absolute couture quality finishes for a ready-to-wear customer. It's the need of luxury and beauty and finish to the highest quality. There was always such a lightness and such a femininity and just a very gentle quality to the collection. But they've also brought a little bit more of a sort of tougher side to it a little bit. And it sounds like a strange thing to say because they often work a lot in lace and they're often inspired by sort of ecclesiastical garments. But in that, you know, their lace doesn't look fragile. I mean, it's, it's a much heavier lace. And I feel like there's a bit more heft and strength to it and they've done amazing things with the accessories. I just think it's an ultimate kind of elegance and beauty and yet it's also interesting to see how they are inspired by something that is from the past but that they're, you know, have found a way to make it au courant and that's a very difficult thing to weave those two things together. I am so impressed with what they've done for Valentino and I feel that kind of, you know, Eastern European princess idyllic nature, just the most extravagant, exquisite fabrics and embroideries has just galvanized everyone's interest in Valentino again. It's probably one of the most beautiful shows of the season.